What up, YouTube fam? Can y'all believe it has been 10 years, 10 years since I started my log journey? Uh, look at them, y'all. This is 10 years. Well, not completely the length because I did trim them because of um, my hair uh, thinning a little bit at the roots. But y'all, I have had my hair locked for 10 years and it has been one of the best decisions that I've ever made. And I know it's been a while since I've done the update. I probably do like one or two a year now, to be honest. But I didn't forget about y'all. Y'all know that I am dedicated to giving you updates on my hair. So I'm still in this lock game here. And again, no time soon do I plan on cutting them. The only way that I will cut them is if my hair is just losing its mind and I'm balding and locks start falling out. But we're praying that doesn't happen. <laughs> but speaking of... Um, losing hair. I'm not losing it, but um, I am like thinning here. Um, I'm kind of thinking that it's, it might be hereditary because my father, he has a hairline that like goes like here and then it goes back like that. So kind of like a McDonald's arch. <laughs> That's what his hairline looks like. And right here is where um, I'm thinning. Um, my last appointment, uh, my lactician uh, combined uh, two of them. It was, was it this one? No. See, it's so thin, I can't even feel which one it is. Okay, it's this one. So, these are combined, but you can still see, like right here, it's a little thin. So, it's like barely hanging on. So, but yeah, these is where, where the two are married. And then on this side, in the same area, um, you can see it's uh, thin at the root as well. So, you look, that's what's what it's trying to hold on to. So, um, I don't really wear my hair in a ponytail as much because I'm trying to save my hair from uh, breaking off. But yeah, when, when this one was combined, uh, it was because the other one actually broke off. Um, it broke off about uh, maybe five or six months ago. So, um, so my hair has been doing something a little different. Um, it's been aging. So, but I um, actually picked this up, um, just some black, um, was it Jamaican? Yeah, Jamaican black castor oil. So I'm going to use that and see um, what it does. So hopefully that'll uh, get me back to where I need to be right up in here. But pretty much everywhere, everywhere else is fine. Um, some, some of these are a little thin at the root, like, yeah, like this one right here. Look at that. So yeah, some of these are struggling, but the good thing is that I have all of this right here as a base to twist it in or, you know, interlock it in there. So, but that's it. This is what 10 years of having locks looks like. Um, shout out to everybody that has been uh, following me um, to my day ones. I honestly don't know if my day ones are still <laughs> in the lock journey. So if y'all are still in a lock journey, um, so glad that you're still in there. Um, and anybody that, um, is fairly new, um, as far as following me, thank you for following my continuous lock journey. But, uh, this is it y'all again, 10 years of having these locks. Hopefully y'all can see that. So. Couldn't have done this without y'all, with all the love and support, um, the people that I watched um, towards the beginning, like the first few years of my journey, y'all really encouraged me to um, grow locks and how to maintain them, how to have patience with them, um, all of that. So just wanted to update y'all. Um, I have no idea when I'm going to do another video, but I couldn't let this 10-year uh, mark um, go by. So again, for those that are still rocking with me, shout out to you. Thank you for following. So whenever I come back on for another update, I will see you then. Y'all enjoy your weekend. Peace.